um, what's going on everyone it's um, Mike back again um, there's been too many of these videos where you you sit back and you don't really know what to say um, Man City one was, was one Southampton was one um, Newcastle was one and the Spurs one was one Tonight really hurt, actually uh, probably hurt more than any of them because it was an absolute must win. You know, this this was one of the reasons we'd all been going, oh yeah, we've got games in hand and pundits were saying we've got games in hand and other channels were saying you've got games in hand, you'll be fine. We've just lost to a team that have won three games at home, uh, three games this season. Um, they've lost less games than us. They've conceded, or their goal difference is better than ours. We um, we're done. We we are done because, um, you know there'll be a lot of people in here saying, oh yeah, you need to be positive still, Mike. You need to stay with the team. You need to be, you know, a collective. We need to go into the game on Saturday and really uh, this weekend, sorry, and really believe and fight for the badge and the club and. Look at them players. You know, there's a there's a handful of players, if that, that fought tonight. There's a handful of players that showed passion and integrity. There was players that were blowing out of their arsehole at the end of the game. Gordon getting subbed for Damari Gray. He was he was knackered. Um Richarlison dead on his feet at the end. I thought Mikolenko played better. <sighs> I just don't, um, I don't get it. The substitutions again tonight. He's only used two of them. He's left it till the last minute to bring on Rondon. Which, don't get me wrong, Rondon is not the answer, but we haven't got any other choices. <laughs> um... You know, if I, if I was to sit there and assess the game, you know, it's far too easy, multiple times, for Kenny to get done on the right-hand side. But we've known that for years, and we haven't brought in a right-back. And when we have brought in a right-back, he's been injured, or he hasn't played. You know, Rafa Benitez, and then subsequently, Frank Lampard didn't feel that that right-back was ready. Now he's injured. Then you've got Coleman, who, let's be honest, it shouldn't be anywhere near the first team. Not not at this point. He's been a great servant. Kenny, shocking. Shocking. The positioning in the middle of the six-yard box, shocking. Decore is nowhere near his man. Iwobi, two goals, leaves his man, just leaves him, just doesn't bother tracking him. He did exactly the same the weekend. Was that even picked up? <laughs> Why is it so easy to get down our left-hand side, past our right-back, and put the ball into the box? And we've seen it time and time and time and time again. Why is it that when we're on the front foot, instead of passing in front of a player, we tend to pass it behind the player where we don't put enough pace on the pass? I mean, these are basics of football. You know, we huffed and puffed tonight. You know, we really, really tried. We hit the crossbar a couple of times in crosses and the, I think an effort on goal hit the post or crossbar. But you just could see that every single time Everton tried to defend, they were falling apart. They were shaky. You know, Burnley scored three goals tonight. Goals. Everton scored two penalties. Couldn't even create a goal-scoring opportunity. And the ones they did, we didn't score. So I could come on here and rant. And trust me, 
the hatred I have for Everton Football Club tonight um, has never been this intense. I could be that Arsenal fan that just blows his top, sits in the car and goes absolutely fucking dog shit at the entire bunch of players, manager, managing staff, board of directors. I literally could just go to Goodison, stand outside of Goodison Park and just shout. Because what's the fucking point? You know, what? what is the point of the existence of us if we can spend 580 million and get relegated. Farhad Mashiri should absolutely hang his head in shame for how he's destroyed this club. Bill Kenwright shouldn't even be at the club. He's, he's, they're just toxins that are just layered all over the place. On top of that, you've got the shocking appointment of directors of footballs that have brought in shit players over and over and over again for season after season for us to spend 550 million and to be going down because look at our next fixtures look at our fixtures coming up man united chelsea liverpool arsenal leicester's all of these teams it doesn't matter when we play them we're not getting points off them we're at home all the way I've said a few times this season, I think that's it. I think we're down. Um, you, I don't see any way back whatsoever after that game. And it, it's mad, actually, because... I never thought we'd be here. I never expected it. The start we had... You know, we went into the West Ham game last season. At this season, at the start of the season. And if we'd have won that game... It would have been the best ever start to a Premier League campaign. And we are now sitting one point above the drop zone. Level on games with the game with the team below us. You have more fight, more passion, used to performing in difficult circumstances with players who fight for that shirt. While we've got a bunch of players who couldn't give a flying fuck about where they are, I, I doubt they even care what league they're in, I doubt they even care what league they're in when they're picking up 70, 80, 90, 100 grand a week. A point wouldn't have been the end of the world tonight, just not losing wouldn't have been the end of the world tonight and we were 2-1 up at half time, all we had to do was ride it out, perform better, be solid in the middle. He won't be, I thought, give the ball away. Lord knows how many times today. And yet he still plays 94 minutes. He still plays. And that, that is on Frank. That is absolutely on Frank. There's no one else who makes that decision bar him. And it, it is horrendous. You could have given me Fabian Dell for half an hour over that. I'd have, I'd have took it. You, mate. Honestly, you could have stuck anyone in the middle, somebody who could hold the ball up and pass it forward because the amount of times his touch was horrendous, was was pathetic. Just like the weekend, just like last weekend, where he played really well for the most of the game and then bottled a touch. And tonight, he bottled a touch and didn't track his men into the box. That team has lost 18 games this season. 18. Deserves to go down. You know, I could sit here ranting and raving. I could, honestly, I hate the club. I've put out tweets saying that I don't want to hear any more rally clause. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear from any of them. I don't want Lampard to come out and throw the players under the bus because equally, he's to blame for tonight. And he has been for a few of the games this season because his fucking decision-making on substitutions is horrendous. It's actually shocking. His tactics at times is terrible. But, you know, Frank's exempt to that because he's walked into this. This isn't his group of players. He brought in Deli Alley. Fucking hell. He hasn't... Denny Ali sat on the bench all game tonight. You're telling me he couldn't offer more than he will be?
we we're done. Like I, I I accepted it weeks ago, but I at least wanted to go out with a whimper, a little bit of fight. Tonight that they they proved they proved that you know they just don't give a toss. The defending tonight, it should have been backs against the walls every single time Burnley had the ball in our half. Should have been every single Everton player behind the ball trying to just keep it away from goal. Take a point if you have to. Try and get a goal on the counter because you have the pace. Damari Gray, Richarlison, Calvert-Lewin is quicker than their back four. Didn't utilise that at all. There is not a single person following up on the 85th minute on corner. Not a single person. And that ball gets put across. With ben Godfrey, Godfrey fluffs his lines. Fluffs it. Sh straight to their feet. So. I don't, I don't care. I, I don't. I don't care what. What he said. I don't care what people think. I don't, I don't care if you disagree or agree with me. Um, because what's the point? What's the point? All Everton do is suck the life out of you. Don't give you any pleasure or enjoyment. I don't remember the last time I went to an Everton game and was excited and looking forward to going forward. This club is a joke. This club is a fucking joke from top to bottom in every sense of the word. They are a joke. And to those away fans that go home and away every single game... I don't know whether to feel sorry for you or ask you to get your brains tested because the support is just fantastic. But the club do fuck all. They do fuck all to support you. And I could touch on loads of points. I could literally sit here and just read off all of my thoughts and feelings. But the facts are, We ain't good enough. We ain't a Premier League side. And we can have all of these big money signings. It means fuck all when you haven't got the right mentality. And they haven't. And Frank Lampard, unfortunately, hasn't been able to install that winning mentality that Frank no doubt has into them. And whether that is a Frank issue, a player issue, a mindset issue, was the job too big for Frank... Is Frank the right manager? All of that is redundant. The facts are the players can't get that, that winning mentality, that, that aggression. They can't do it. I mean, they can't do it. The amount of tackles they bowled tonight were pathetic. So, um, yeah. No no positives, really, from me tonight. Um, there will definitely be players that felt tonight more. Um, I suspect with Charleston, Gordon... There'll be two. Mason Holgate, when he come off, he, he was punching the walls and everything. He was fuming. But, um... Doesn't matter. None of it matters. And when we're playing on fucking Tuesday, Saturdays, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Friday nights, Monday night football, next season... What what will you say? We'll be on every week. We'll be on every week. I just um I just hate them. I just fucking hate them. I hate how they can like suck the absolute joy out of your life in ninety minutes. You know, 2 1 at half time, and we went in and we'd had a few chances. I thought oh, we could we could get another way, make it 3 1, make it comfortable. After 12 minutes, we bottled that. Again, ball across the box, very simple. Jay Rodriguez, goal. Richarlison tries overhead kick. I think we hit the post and the ball through. I think John Joe Kenny hits the crossbar with a cross. There's a couple of shots from outside the area. And then on the 83rd minute, again, ball comes across. Ben Godfrey can't defend it. Misses the second block. And Cornet puts it in for 3-2. And you sit there and you just think, 
That's that. Lampard was fuming, rightly so. At least, at least we saw that. But I, I literally don't want to hear any excuses from any of them tonight. I don't want to hear a rally cry. I'm not interested in any of that bullshit. Um, I don't believe these players in this club even give a flying fuck. I just, I, I don't even know what the point of us is anymore. So, yeah, it's very raw. It's very um. I'm broken. I am broken. And there's there's other fan channels and content creators that will be feeling exactly the same as me. And it's really difficult to convey that on camera and audio. So please don't dig us out too much because we are hurting as much as you are. And there'll be a lot of people on here that are saying, Mike, you're a brummer. You don't hurt as much as us. Trust me, you have no fucking idea how shit I feel right now. But Everton Football Club in the Championship just doesn't feel right to me and that you know there'll be there'll be fans from other clubs that won't be asked because they won't have seen Everton be successful in years I get that but to us we're Everton Football Club so guys look I'm leaving it there um yeah peace